While the city of L.A., the county and state spend billions on trying to help the homeless, some Koreatown neighbors have taken matters into their own hands when it comes to their neighborhood. Fox 11's Phil Schumann is live with a look at their remedy. Phil. Well, this is a peaceful uh, pocket of tranquility on Westmoreland Avenue, third in Vermont. Homeowners thought these boulders were a perfect solution to uh, keeping an encampment from returning. They've been here for months, but then someone started blogging about it. The news media picked up on it. Now the city's moved in and says you can't do that. There are some two dozen landscape boulders where an encampment used to be, and those big boulders make a bold statement. Homeless, not wanted. Yes, it's understandable. I mean, in, down, because, the block, yeah. down the block, there's a lot of homeless. And yeah. I mean, being homeless is fine. However, they, they really pushed it a little too far because there's a lot of trash and, and it was right by the park. Neighbors who don't want to be identified, paid for and placed the boulders, fed up after months of this. This is cell phone video from last year. That exact site, a shirtless man, a woman yelling. Where they went and when, not clear. If you're looking at the homeless issue here, our homeless are on the other side. This, the other side, a block from the boulders, as described by Vanessa Khan, another neighbor. It's clear that moving out one couple from one location has not solved any problems in this Koreatown neighborhood. Rather than caring more about removing the homeless from whatever neighborhood, why don't we focus more on getting those homeless people into some homes? This afternoon, L.A. Street Services put up temporary barricades around the boulders, efforts already underway to remove them. A spokesperson for Councilman Gil Cedillo, Council District 1, says they do not support the use of any kind of barricades or blockages to deal with the homeless. But one man who lives on the street says they only did this because, in their view, the city wasn't doing its job. And if it's a communal thing, it's a communal thing for sure. I don't want anybody getting in trouble for this because the city didn't do their job. I mean, you can look down the street, yeah, it's, still there, a, yeah. it's still a hellhole there. And they move it out once in a while and it comes right back. Paul Bauer says the police, in his words, tell you what they can't do. So Alex and Christine, this is just a very dramatic example of the frustration that so many people feel with the inability to make lasting change when it comes to helping the homeless. Live in Koreatown, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.